Hello and welcome to lesson two. We're going to look at using Nmap to scan for open ports on our vulnerable uh, Metasploitable machine using Kali Linux. And we're going to use um, TCP and the three way handshake to um, find out this information. Um, just to explain very quickly the basics, if we do a um, synchronize attack or synchronize query it's it's what we call a half open scan so what we'll do is we'll send a synchronization request to the server the server will acknowledge it but then we'll we'll we won't reply so the benefit of this is we, we get all the information we need and nothing is recorded because we haven't we haven't acknowledged and we haven't established a connection so as a, as a result, there's no logs that have been taken. Um, you can only really do that if you've got admin rights on the machine to, to perform the attack. So the next one then is a full TCP connect scan, and that completes the whole process, establishes a connection, so a record is made, and then we'll get a list of all the ports that are open on, on the machine that's running. And the other scan we can do is a UDP scan. A UDP scan is very slow and it's something that a lot of auditors don't look for on their machines because it's so slow and it's not used that much. But DNS, SNMP, DHCP, a number of services do run on UDP. So it is a useful scan to do, but it, but it is slow. We'll perform all the scans today um, just to, just to get ourselves up and running um, with nmap there there's tons you can do um, if you look at the nmap.org this is just the vulnerability vulnerability category and um, there's so many commands and so many scripts that we can run it's, it's it's pretty much endless what we can do so we're going to start off with some of the basics so um, we're going to be running Kali Linux and we're going to be carrying on to exploit our um, Metasploitable machine. So the machine's up and running. Ping 192.168. Oops. Ping 192.168.1.11. It's the machine's up and running. Control C, I'll stop that. So let's do um, an end map which which again is on Kali Linux is one of the many many tools that's on there so we need to do nmap and it's the minus s it is case sensitive so this is a synchronized attack or a sin attack so it's capital s and then it's 192.168 it's, it's the host that one that we want to go for and when we click this does take a little bit of time luckily I've given a little bit more RAM to my virtual machines and this has now gone off to query the server for some of the ones that last or take a long time to perform I'll pause the video but this one took as you can see a scan run host 13.37 seconds and this is a meta exploitable machine so as you could imagine it shows a lot of open ports so with that information we can now start to use other tools for example we know that http is open we know that ftp is open we know that telnet is open all are typical ways that you can exploit the machine i can also see that vnc is on here and there's a number of vulnerabilities to crack a VNC password. So um, all of this is useful information to us if we want to exploit this machine. So again, we could run Kali, we could run Nmap, we can see these ports are open and then we could then start to close ports on our machine to, to secure it. Um, but as I say, this is a, a assuming a number of permissions. So the next one we can do is nmap minus s and then this is a tcp so it's t capital t 
I do lots of typos and then if I run that one it should take around 13 14 seconds again and this is the one that I was telling you will actually do a full handshake so um, a record is kept we we complete in we complete in the process so we are establishing a connection and once that runs we should get a similar result because we may well have been turned down here and said unable to scan no permissions or you know would have got no result but because we we do the st one we should get some results so that one took 13.33 seconds to run they must have that must have um, finished when i brought the screen up just now to show you the handshake process and it's showing the same as the last as the last scan so that's a tcp scan um that's a more typical scan that we would do so the command to run that then i'm going to run um, a udp scan you normally run a udp scan uh, with an ss scan so let's do nmap minus ss minus minus s u capital u for udp 192.168.1.11 okay and this can take 10 15 minutes easily to scan so once you start this i would suggest that you pause that you pause the video and when when the scan is finished you start the video up again so i'm just going to pause things and come back to you in a few moments okay as you can see that was a slightly well that just took about 15 minutes to scan and it's given us pretty much the same information as we've been receiving elsewhere but um a udp scan can be useful because as i mentioned earlier sometimes people forget to uh, worry about uh, closing up some of the ud ports um so that's basically the scanning for ports um another thing that that we can do is we can scan for the operating system or let's find out what operating system is running on a, an ip address um nmap has got within its database uh, a catalog of, of, of over 2600 different operating systems that's that that means different versions and uh of operating systems so um putting together a whole series of information that it gets back from the scan but when it puts that lump of information together it can tell us what operating system is running on, on the system so to 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 do that scan all we need to do is nmap uh, minus zero uh, o minus o capital o one nine two one six eight one dot eleven and this one doesn't take that long to run so it's getting um ttl or time to live it's getting tcp ports response times it, it puts together a whole uh, portfolio of information to, to to get to base its response and um as you can see we've done my we've done the minus all command there it's it's looked it's, it's looked at all the ports and it's come back and it says that it's running uh, linux 2.6 x um and the all this details in in particular are it's running 2.6.9 to 2.6.33 so it's given us a lot of information that we need to know about the operating system um not knowing the operating system and knowing the exact version can help us pinpoint um specific flaws and um, specific vulnerabilities that we can look at of course windows 7 is now out of date so it, it could be useful to pinpoint windows 7 machines that are out on the network so that's um the commands to look at a operating system so the next thing we need to do is, is is we can look at scripts 
if if we do a, um, a search or in nmap there are there's a lot of scripts that we that we can uh, utilize um, and using the, using those scripts we we can the, the scripts are built in to nmap and then using the scripts using the extensions we can um, look up um, information we need for example we can look at what services are running which we'll do in a minute we can also look at um, for, for vulnerabilities and what nmap will do is if, if we use the script for vulnerabilities within its own database it's got all the vulnerabilities listed all the ones that it finds it'll then reference me to a website so that we can can look at at the exact details of the vulnerability so we can so that we can exploit it so there's, there's, well, as you can see, there's 600 scripts, um, and one of the ones we're going to look at is the is, is banner scripts, and so we'll make a start on that one. So there is a syntax that that we have to use. So it's nmap minus s v uh, minus s, and then capital V for for versions. So nmap minus s minus v. Then we need to put in two dash two dashes. Space two dashes. Script. So it's it's telling us to go to the script database, and space banner. Or you can actually put in if you want to equals banner. I find that they both work. Banner one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot eleven. And what this will do is it will it will basically look for all the services um, that are that are running on the machine. So just like on a, on a typical PC, we'll have uh, Adobe service running, um, QuickTime service running, uh, Microsoft Office services running, Outlook, email, internet services running. Um, we're looking on on the on the machine we're scanning for any vulnerabilities. This again can take uh, a little time to do so what i'll do is i'll pause the video again um so that when we come back it, it we've saved ourselves some time so if you if you pause the video once it's once it's run if you come back to me okay so that took just under a minute to run um it's found a number of ports a number of services so it says that um, TCP uh, FTP is open and it says the version that we're running. Um, it also shows some of the um, open BSD logins, remote logins running. And I did notice again we've got VNC running. So, and it's version of uh, VNC in this protocol 3.3. So, we, we can use that to try to guess the password and then get in in a later lesson i will actually um set up a windows 7 machine i'll put vnc on it and we, we'll scan and try and try to get in with a script because if we look at look at all the scripts that we've that we've got we can actually uh, if you look at brute we can try to brute force our way into into guessing VNC passwords, so that's the that's the, the script for all to, to look at all the services that are running. Pretty straightforward, very useful. So we know the ports that we got open, and we now know the services that are running. And you know we're well on our way to finding out more information and trying to exploit the machine. And finally, the last one we'll do is a vulnerability scan. So that will be nmap minus o and then minus pn Th this the pn is just assuming that the, the port probe is open mm. so so it's assuming that there's open ports so um, minus pn and then dash dash script vuln vulnerability vuln and then it's 192.168.1.11 okay and again um, I'm going to pause the video if, if you pause the video 
and then come back when um, the script has run. Okay, that took about seven or eight minutes to perform the scan. And as you can see, you get, you get a lot of information back from the scan. Um, and uh, what, it, what it tells you is it gives you all the information you need of what it's found. And it gives you links to websites where you can learn more information about the scan. So this has found a FTP vulnerability and it's telling us um, some websites, um, scary beast security blogspot. Um, these websites can give us information on more information about about the vulnerability that is found. Okay, and one last thing, we've been scanning all the ports, we've been finding all the open ports, and as you can see, um, we've got port 80 open. So what we can do, and this is what we'll do in further lessons, is if we open up Kali and open up our web browser. If we go to our web server, 192.168.1.11, you'll see that Netsploitables 2. So we can see that, they're, that they've got a website open and we can start to exploit it. They've got, they've got PHP there. So no doubt we can um, try to pa uh, brute force the password there. Um, so now that now that we've seen that we had port 80 open all we needed to do was was go to our machine and exploit it so i hope you found that um, short season of exercises on nmap useful and i'll look forward to doing the next lesson